there was one thing in particular that I actually wanted to talk about today. One of the dilemmas I've been having with the Pray for Nathan uh, nature show or adventure show as you may know it, is so by showing how awesome and great these areas are, is that a conflict of interest? So I went to Algonquin a few years ago, Canoe Lake, and it was the shoulder season and it was packed. So many, there were, I had to a race between 16 and 20 canoes. I just couldn't handle it. There were so many people at every portage. It was ridiculous. So what I don't want is for all the other areas I enjoy to be anything like Algonquin is. Algonquin has just been over publicized. People come from around the world to travel there. And I don't want that. So when you have areas like Tamagami, which are simply beautiful. And before this year, it was really hard to find any videos on YouTube on Tamagami. This year, it's ridiculous the amount of them that are out there. The area is just exploding. That's another question. If it's not me, is it gonna, it's going to be someone else. But should I be trying to make YouTube videos that exploit Tamagami and other areas and encourage kind of others to go there? Is this a conflict of interest? Are we ruining Tamagami and other areas by making these YouTube videos? This is what I want to know. What do you think? Because originally my goal to make these YouTube videos was so that we'd have a play, like I could see these things, go to these things and show people these things before they're gone. But at the same time by making the videos, I feel they make them more popular and they're quickly disappearing from us. You can barely get reservations at half the places and parks right now. I'm just, I don't want to turn our parks and exploit them in for Instagram and YouTube stuff. I want to be able to enjoy them and to protect the wildlife. And with 7 billion people on this planet, I fear every day that I might not be able to do that due to other people. Like these areas are just simply beautiful. And it really makes you wonder, is it worth it to make videos of great areas like Tamagami or even you know, the Thames. The Thames is a great hidden gem. But one of the things that makes it great is no one goes down it. That is what makes it great. And that's what makes Tamagami great. Is the isolation, how nature can, gets to thrive. But Algonquin where there's toilet paper, garbage. Even here, the easy sites at Massasauga. Apparently people have to smash their glass bottles everywhere. Are we ruining it by making YouTube videos? That is my question. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So the worst thing has kind of happened here this year. Uh, Massasauga has increased their rates about 300-350%. Uh, they're now charging per site instead of per person. It used to cost me $12.43. A night to spend in Massasauga, now it's going to cost me $46, which makes it pretty much on par to uh, car camping. And even car camping, they give discounts in the low, the low seasons, they go down to $25. Massasauga's not cutting any deals. I did speak to Ontario Parks about this, and they said they're trying out a new fee structure with the new reservation system. Uh, this is going to be happening for the next two years at least. And uh, they've also increased the rates in Tamagami up to $36 and used to cost me $12.43. And the thing I don't like about this is that doesn't guarantee you a site. If you recall from last year when I was staying on uh, Bob Lake, I couldn't find a site and I had paid for a permit. So my question is, I didn't mind paying $12.43 as a donation. But when I'm paying up to $36 a night and I can't get a site, that's not fair. So pretty much what they're doing is they're pricing me out of the backcountry. Uh, if I can find a group of three or four people, yeah, it does become more affordable. But I try year after year and I haven't been able to find a good group of people to go camping with. People don't have the vacation time and everything else. Remember, I'm a shift worker, so my vacation time isn't usually on the weekends. So I've been pretty much priced out of uh, Massasauga and Tamagawi now. And I'll be boycotting those parks. But I think it's really important now for everyone to speak out about this. And... Uh, 
tell your MPP, tell Ontario Parks that you're not happy with this. It's only a matter of time before this sweeps across the whole back country, the Kortha. Wait till they do that in Algonquin. You know, they are taking away the back country from solar campers. Uh, and even, you know, you and your wife, your couples want to go camping. They're taking this away from us by charging exorbitant fees. But I'm quite concerned that these videos are ruining the backcountry for everyone and uh, increasing the popularity and increasing the pricing so now that it's only for the rich. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to be doing some reflecting myself. I don't know if I should stop or not.